Hey everyone, welcome to this edition of the Dream Hustle Podcast. I'm your host, Shana Recker. And today, you guys, I want to share some insights that I I recently had um, around posting on Instagram. And I have to say, I am absolutely somebody who struggles with our I have been in the past, be careful, watch your words, um, that uh, struggled with writing Instagram posts, like really trying to make them sound super juicy and like all heartfelt and all of this stuff, right? Like I see other people who post um, these amazing posts on Instagram and they're just so like well thought out and just so like inspiring and all of these things. And for the longest time, I had it in my head that I wasn't really good at that and that I struggled with that and that it took me hours to write an Instagram post, like to, to really express how I was feeling. I used to go in my husband's office and I'd be uh, you know, annoyed and he'd be like, what's wrong? And I'd be like, oh, I've just spent four hours trying to write an Instagram post. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just can't get the words out. I just, you know, it's like, I knew, I kind of knew what I wanted to say, but then I was all, I was getting even tripped up in my head with what I thought I should be saying and like what this post should be about. And like, I don't know. I don't know if you guys can relate to me at all when it comes to that. You know, it's like you get in your head, like I should be posting on Instagram today. And then you start thinking about, well, what should I post about? And then you start tripping up yourself thinking about all the different things that, you know, you could post about, but then you can't find the words about, you know, to make that right, Blah, all that you get it. Right. And recently I have tapped into a space within myself and I don't want to jinx it, but I don't believe in jinxing. So I'm not going to say that, but I've really felt, uh, I've kind of figured it out. I feel like I have kind of tapped into a special place. And I want to share that with you guys in today's episode, because I want, if you struggle, like I have struggled in the past with really expressing yourself online, then I think this is going to help you because it's really helping me. So the first thing is, is when it comes to, you know, shooting on yourself, right? It's like, I should post on Instagram today. It's been like five days or it's been three days. I am all for consistency a hundred percent. I, I believe that. And I teach that in my dream muscle Academy. It's like, you know, social media, it's about, it's about consistency and showing up. However, with that being said, I never want to see anybody go on Instagram and post something out of like forcing it and feeling like, well, I have to. So that's why I'm on here right now trying to drum up some, you know, post for today to make it look like I'm being consistent. I don't ever want anybody to post from that energy. And so that's why for me, some weeks I have three posts, four posts, some weeks I have one. It just depends on what's going on. Um, so one, I've removed that feeling of should when it comes to posting on Instagram. And instead I'm in, I'm exchanging that energy from inspiration. It's like, what does my ideal client need to hear today? When I'm feeling inspired and I think, yeah, I, I want to post today. I want to get something out there today for my audience. Instead of coming like, what should I post today? Or, you know, oh, so-and-so's, you know, post posted this. Oh, that's really cool. I should try and write something like that. I always struggle when I come from that space. But instead, I have really tapped into, and, and, and it takes me a little bit to get here, you guys. Let, let me tell you, this isn't something that just comes right out right away as soon as I open up my, I use the later app um, on my desktop to, to share my posts or to create my posts. So it's not like I open it up and I'm just like, you know, words come flowing out. It's not like that at all. Sometimes I'm sitting there staring at it, staring at it for like five, 10, 15 minutes sometimes. Or sometimes I've even written like four different starts to a post. But it's almost like what I need to do to kind of get the engine revving, to kind of get, get into that space and really tap into my inner self and go, what, what do they need to hear today from me? What is the thing that I need to hear? And sometimes I'll think about questions that my students in the Dream Hustle Academy ask. Sometimes I think about some, what some of my clients have asked recently, you know, um, in our coaching calls. Sometimes I'll think about what I might, what I'm struggling about, struggling with myself. Um, so I, I'll, when I'm, when I'm starting to feel like I'm, I'm like struggling with my post, I'll stop myself and start tapping into some of those questions. Like what is, what do people ask me this week or what am I struggling with? Or, you know, what did, you know, you know, so-and-so say on our coaching call last week and see what comes up for me. 
sometimes the inspiration's just there. Sometimes I, you know, in the morning, in the shower, it's like, oh, that's so good. That was such a good topic. I should really post about that today. And sometimes I just know I can get on and just start going. But what I have been finding is that I have, when I'm typing, I can feel when I'm coming from my inner self, my inner being, because it just flows easy. And I just start saying, what would I say to that person about this? Or what would I say to myself about this? Or what did I do in that situation? And I just start typing and I'm, I'm not typing as if I'm typing an Instagram post. I'm just typing. I'm just, I'm just typing what I would say to somebody in that space. And you guys, it has helped me really tap into a language for myself, a flow for myself, a feeling for myself on my Instagram posts. Um, and it's funny because the ones where I come from that place and you know, like I'm telling you, you know, when you're in that space, because it does flow easier. It does just come out. Yes. There's some fiddling I need to do and some spacing things I need to do. And I need to like check the grammar every once in a while, make sure I kind of got it sort of right. Um, but you know, I'll leave my grammatically incorrect things into my post sometimes. Cause that's just how I speak. But you know, when you're coming from that space, because there's just an ease to it, it's just a flow to it. And those are always, always the posts that get the most engagement. And that's how I know. And that's how you can know when you're coming from that zone. It's like, as soon as I post it, I get, you know, people already commenting going, oh my gosh, this was helpful today. Or, oh, I can totally relate. This is, you know, whatever, you know? And, and so when I first hit that sweet spot, when I did a post, this was a couple of weeks ago and I got, a, there was like one post I did and it just kind of blew up for me. I went back and I thought, what was it about that post? Like, what did I do differently? And it wasn't necessarily the words because I've written posts similar to that before, but it was the energy and the space where I was coming from that was different. Like it, I could feel the emotion as I was typing that post where other ones that I've done similar, where I wasn't coming from that space, I was, you know, I wrote down, it's funny, I was on a coaching call and I said to my, my client, I said, you know, when I was doing these posts, cause I was explaining this to her, I was coaching her on, you know, crafting posts and stuff like that and, and creating this kind of content. And I said, when I'm less glossy, the more people respond to the post. And that's exactly what it was. It was like the ones that I had done similar that had the same sort of content, like I was trying to make them glossy, you know, I was trying to make them like sound a certain way and be a certain way and like look a certain way and emojis and all the things. But when I just like let it out from me and I'm not trying to be glossy and I'm just trying to say it like I would say it to you if you were sitting in front of me, those are the ones that get the most engagement. And so if you are somebody who has struggled with you know, crafting these posts and you see all these other people, celebrity entrepreneurs, all these things, writing these amazing posts and all this stuff. And you're struggling and you're feeling like you're not, you know, as good as, or you just can't seem to, to get it. I want to encourage you to tap inside yourself, like go inward and think about your ideal client. And here's the thing. Oftentimes your ideal client is a former version of you. You've heard me say that before, right? So where were you when that was happening to you and what were you thinking or feeling? You know, sometimes when I think about the questions that my, um, the Dream Hustle Academy members ask me when I, before I answer them, whether it be on our monthly calls or in the Facebook group, before I answer them, I have to go back to myself at that point. Cause I've been where all my clients are and I have to go back to myself and go, well, what was I thinking back then? Or what was I doing back then? Or how did I, you know, move through that? I mean, there's lots of answers I could give them from mentors that I've had and books that I've read, but I also want to get into the feeling space of where they are and then intuitively answer what I think needs to happen based on my own experiences, right? Because that's where I think the most wisdom that we have comes from is our experiences uh, around those situations. And so when it comes to your posts, it's the same thing right? It's like, you got to tap into that experience and the feeling that you had when you were doing that yourself, or when you, maybe you didn't do it yourself. Maybe you helped somebody go through that. It's that same energy, right? And when you're sharing wisdom and you're sharing knowledge and you're sharing, you know, whatever it is that you want to share, you know, educating, inspiring, being the authority in your niche, whatever that is that you're sharing, 
sharing it from an authentic, real feeling place versus trying to make it glossy and sound like you think it quote unquote should sound. I guarantee you every time that you go the authentic route and making it sound and talk to people like you would, you were sitting next to them having a coffee is always going to get better response than trying to make it all glossy and perfect and pretty for everyone so that they like it. That energy is not going to get the same engagement. I promise you that. And that's what I've learned. And now it's like, I used to stress. I used to be like, Ugh, writing posts. Ugh. Now I'm like, all right, what do I want to say today? What do, what do I think they need to hear today? Or what, what have I heard lately that, you know, people are struggling with that I want to answer for people today or I want to help people with today. And so that's what I want to encourage you guys to do. And uh, I guarantee you'll get some, some more results, some better results and more engagement from your posts when you make them less glossy. All right, guys, that's it for me. I hope you guys found value in this today. Please let me know. I love chatting with you guys in my DMs at Shana Ricker on Instagram. And if you're looking for more support in your online business and you're looking for someone to help you hold your hand, walk you through the process from whether you, you're, you're, you're starting brand new and you have zero experience or maybe you had a business or you have, you have a business and you just want to grow it. You want to take it to that next level. You guys, I really encourage you and invite you to take a look at the dream hustle Academy. It's my online program that teaches you how to build a business from the ground up through my five phase system. And if you want a little sneak peek at to, at what I teach, in the Dream Hustle Academy, I have a free webinar. It's called the 4C Formula. It is in the show notes. It gives you a little overview on how to get started online. It gives you some of the tips and tricks and things that I use and teach in the Dream Hustle Academy. Um, and it also gives you a special discount code, but don't tell anyone. Um, and you can get that in the show notes there, or you can go to shanerecker.com. You'll see it on my website and it is the 4C formula webinar. Um, so jump in, check that out. And I'd love to have you in the dream hustle Academy so we can work through some of this stuff together. It's more fun when you do it with a friend. All right, guys, that's it for me. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.